Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'll be reviewing this. This is Transformers Legacy Evolution Metal Hawk. And here he is in package. You can see him in jet form on the front, on the side, robot mode. And on the top you have his QR code for his tech specs. And here on the back, 18 steps to transform. Let's get Metal Hawk out of the package. Here is Metal Hawk out of the package. He comes with his instruction sheet. These two guns that become the tail fins for the jet mode. You can see a little hollowness on the inside there, but they can combine to form a double barreled weapon. You also get a sword. And Metal Hawk himself. Let's take a closer look at him here. Looking very good. Very surprised that they used Cyclonus um, to make Metal Hawk something I wasn't re really expecting. And I gotta say, it works. I mean, just looking at the figure, um, you can see the remnants of Cyclonus starting with the arms here. And then the legs or the thighs. But uh, other than that, at first glance, it doesn't look like a retool of Cyclonus. You have the unfortunate hollowness here in the back that Cyclonus had. And speaking of Cyclonus, here is the Generation Selects version of Cyclonus. And just take a look at them side by side. I mean, just obviously the, the height difference you can see here. Um, I think the, the legs on Cyclonus is slightly longer. Let me put them side by side here. But you can see, yeah, just slightly uh, taller than Metal Hawk. You can see the arms, um, while the part, top part of the arms or shoulders are the same. But then you can see over here, this is where they, they differ. And Cyclonus is arms, forearms look a little bit uh, longer. Then you have the torso, which very similar, but uh, different molding. But I, I just think it's pretty cool that they, they, they got um, Metal Hawk out of this. Take a look at the back as well. But yeah, very cool. And the back uh, detailing is the same, you can see, as Cyclonus. So, and then of course the side detailing, a lot different. Just a, just amaze uh, how they uh, came to get Metal Hawk out of this figure. Very cool, especially considering the last Metal Hawk figure that we got was this one from Titans Returns, which was a trigger happy repaint. And I gotta say this way better. So glad we got this version because this, just looking at it now, doesn't cut it anymore. All right, let's get the weapons on him. So like I said, the double barreled gun combined can separate and you can put it on his arms here where you can hold it like so. But for me personally, I, I rather have them combine. So, and let's put it a little more this side. So have them combine like this. So he can hold his sword, which looks way better in my little opinion here. And here is Metal Hawk, fully armed, ready for battle. Moving on to articulation of the figure, the head can rotate 360. It can tilt a little bit back and forth. It is not on a ball joint though. The arm can rotate 360. You can lift up at the shoulder this much. You can rotate at the bicep back and forth because the wing gets in the way. He can bend at the elbow this much. He does have wrist rotation. He can rotate at the waist 360. He can do the splits. He can rotate at the thigh 360. He can kick this far up, this far back. He can bend at the knee this much, and he does have ankle tilt. 
For some size comparisons in robot mode, here is Metal Hawk next to Legacy Evolution Leo Prime, Studio Series Perceptor, and War for Cybertron Sound Blaster. Okay, right, let's get Metal Hawk transformed into his jet mode. <laughs> Here is Metal Hawk in jet mode. Let's take a closer look at him here. Very nice looking jet mode. Um, the transformation, very familiar since it's basically like Cyclonus, but uh, I think just a lot less steps. Uh, the arms, they don't have to turn around where the shoulders of Cyclonus face forward. They actually just keep them this way, which retains the, the swept wing design. You have a little unsightly gap here, but uh, that's okay. Would have been nice if the cockpit was translucent instead of painted, in my opinion. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's very nice looking jet mode, matches the character. Now the bottom, you do have all this hollowness here and all the robot parts. Now you have the sword here that you can attach to here for weapon storage. So weapon storage is always nice. But all in all, very nice looking jet mode. Now, it is a little plain in my opinion. Like, I don't see any Autobot symbols that are shown here. Would have been nice if there were, because you just have the one Autobot symbol on the robot chest. So that's one negative, but Nothing toy hacks can't fix. And another thing that would have been nice is if it had landing gears. Kingdom Cyclonus had them, as you can see, the landing gears in jet mode. So a little unfortunate that there are no landing gears. Now here's a part that's kind of interesting. If you look at the wing design, it's it's like slightly modified, but almost the same size. In it's just unable to fold the way Cyclonus's does. So, yeah, it's exactly the same um, surface detail. Let's put it up side by side. Except Metal Hawk has this piece. So it is a new mold, but they use the, the same, I guess, 3D file and just remove the hinge part. So you can see here the hinge. But yeah, that's pretty much it for vehicle mode. Yeah, the biggest disappointment, I guess, is the, the lack of the landing gear, in my opinion. It would have been really nice. If it... For some size comparisons in vehicle mode, here is a Metal Hawk next to Kingdom Cyclonus, Legacy Needle Nose, and Legacy Skyquake. Now, looking at these two... The vehicle modes are roughly the same size, if you look at them, but uh, this is a leader class figure and when it transforms into robot mode, becomes a lot taller. Hey, let's get Metal Hawk back into robot mode for my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on Legacy Metal Hawk. Overall, very pleased with the figure. After all, it is based on Kingdom Cyclonus, a figure that I really liked. But it does have its little negatives, mainly the gaps in the back of the legs. Same thing that Kingdom Cyclonus had. And for him, at least now, the gaps on the arms would have been nice if there were uh, panels to fill that up. But uh, robot mode, pretty spot on and really like the way it looks, especially 
um, when you compare it against the last offering we have from the Titan Returns Metal Hawk. Vehicle mode looks great. Now, lacking some detail, would have been nice if there was some paint apps, that Autobot symbol. There's nothing shown in vehicle mode, which is a little odd. Um, and of course, because Kingdom Cyclonus had landing gears, it would have been nice if they did the same for him. We know it's possible, but unfortunately, he doesn't come with any landing gears. Now, that being said, all these, in my opinion, are just very minor negatives. Doesn't really bother me so much, but you know, I do want to just point them out because it's there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really like the figure. Glad we're getting these characters uh, that are a little bit more obscure in the main line. So that's really cool. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thanks for watching.